pick up just like I'm with today. Iron Beast is just wow. sent a car flying. There's no way that you can troll past me like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Iron Beast. Yeah, yeah Blue yeah, Beast. <laughs> this scene is from Blind Master. <laughs> Hey guys, Tommy the Iron Beast. Welcome back to another video. Today we're making a livery for X Plane 11. I've just finished doing one for Microsoft Flight Simulator as well for this particular design. To make the workflow quicker, I already have my folder of templates, reference images, and things. So we'll just pull these up quickly. So that's the mock up of the design that we need to do. And I've made a template here of the tail design, which is the main thing we need to do. So I've got the plane open right here, the A319 for X-Plane 11. So I've gone in here, I've chosen my plane, created a new texture, I've opened that image up. That's the image there, we're clean, we're good to go. I'm about to put the template onto the tailpiece. So open the image, go into my template folder, tail template. Make sure you go back into settings and set this as stencil, image aspect, and we do want to mirror this because there's no writing on it. As always with this template, as I do with most of my templates when I'm making something up quickly, there is heaps of room you can see there for bleed. So anyway, let's go in and quickly put this image onto our template. Nice clean image. One thing I do love about the X-Plane 11 templates is they are very easy to work with. So anyway, we're just quickly mocking this onto the plane. As you can see, it's going both sides, which is perfect. We need to open one more is going to be our uh, writing that's got to be on the plane as well but what we'll do is we'll stencil it all onto the plane we're about three quarters the height of the doors keeping in mind that with text we need to turn off a mirror symmetry okay we've got that on the next thing we need to do is we do need to put our logo on actually that can be mirrored Side. Yep, it has. That's good. And the other thing they've asked for is they want the the name and logo at the bottom of the fuselage as well. So. so we need to do now is shrink that down and make sure our logo's at the front there. Just like that, I think we're pretty much done. So we can get rid of this stencil image now. And now we can just finish off coloring these little overlay bits and then we'll go into the actual template and we can start to tidy up one. So now it doesn't matter that the lines are a little bit rough. And again this is just so that I've got a reference of where these images meet up on the template. And again we'll tidy these angles up as well tightening up a few little bits as we go so it's worth spending a bit of time getting it done we'll get our line tool now and actually tighten this line up a stroke choose a line just want to carry this tool down here and the only other thing we need to do is make sure we've got the intercept at the bottom sorted straighten that line up This is all looking pretty good. Our lines are meeting up. All we'll have to do is go into the template now and just tidy it up so that it looks a bit cleaner. So let's just save that out and back into our template folder. G save. And I'm just going to use this because the plane file is already here. And now we have all of our templates that we need. If we get rid of this, there is our plane template. Just got our reference there, which is very, very yellow. So. Well, let's bring in our template image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this image straight onto a new layer. To make this easier, I'm going to make this whole background color the color for uh, the actual plane. But now that we have this layer, we can start to refine it. Just using our lines. I think it's safe to say all the white is gone. Now we can put a base color in the back here. Get a base color, we're just going to give it a slight fade so we can still see what's underneath. Just a quick bit of line work here, guys, to clean up our template a bit.
I enjoy seeing my work back on the streams, on people's streams, seeing my liveries or mods on people's streams. It's quite cool to see, see the work on the screen. And sometimes you get to hear people that like it while the stream's going on, so you get to hear that real time feedback about your work and mistakes as well. But Now we could get away with putting these lines up with a just a very uh, shallow bucket. Well, and so we can drop by our plane. Go back to full opacity. Got our windows, got our writing, Let's put it into the game and test it out. Now we need to save this as a PNG, I think it is, in X plane or in this particular plane. Alright, guys, let's go in game and test out this livery. That's actually looking pretty sharp, pretty simple, nice, simple design. A lot quicker on the X plane templates than it was on the uh, Microsoft Flight template. All we've got to do now is add the winglets on, which I'll go and do now, but everything's looking good on the plane. And we can't really see underneath, but you can sort of see under there that that image is also pretty good under the bottom of the fuselage there. If I really wanted to, all I'd have to do now is go into the paint kit and put on the weathering um, layer. And I'm pretty much happy with that, guys, overall. For right now, that's looking pretty good, guys. So I'll just go and do the final trims to add a bit of details, add back in the seals around the cockpit windows there. I'm pretty happy with it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed my walkthrough, just going through quickly and making this livery for X-Plane 11, painting through Blender to make sure it's more accurate, and then going through and just doing touch-ups on the template in either Photoshop or, in this case, it was Paint.net. That's going to be it for me for now. Until the next one, guys, take it easy.